Hey everyone, Chris here with another Monday Cardboard Masterpiece. This is where we kind of take a card and look at it from an artistic standpoint, but then also maybe share a story or two about the card. And today we're going to look at one of the best players from the 1940s, um, and that's Steve Van Buren. This is a 1951 Bowman card, and just a, a great looking card. There's a, a number of things that I really like about the card. Um, I love the kind of the, the pose here and the trees in the background with the blue sky. And I've always really liked the, the older blue eagle logo where he's kind of carrying that football. And here it shows him carrying or the eagle is carrying the football over the nameplate here. Um, just a fabulous looking card. One, one that I think is really just just beautiful. Um, and you, of course he's carrying the football there, which is just a great look and, uh, just, just a great looking card from, from one of the great football sets of the early fifties. Now, Steve Van Buren was just a fabulous player that to me is kind of really overlooked for, for how great he really was. He was the second player to rush for a thousand yards in a season back when there were only 12 games to an NFL season. But not only did he rush for a thousand yards, he was the first to rush for a thousand yards back to back. Um, now he also, from 1947 to 1949, was the leading rusher in the NFL. He was the first person to do it in three consecutive years, and there have only been three other players that have done that. You had Jim Brown who did it twice. Um, you had Earl Campbell who did it, and. Cannot remember the third player that did it, but there is a third player. That, oh, Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith is the third player to do it. So there are only four players that, that have ever done that in three consecutive years. Um, so just a great feat there. He, he was also a, a really big part of their two NFL championship teams, their back-to-back -back teams that they won the NFL championship in 1948 and 1949. In 1948, in that championship game um, against the Chicago Cardinals, who were the defending world champions, it, it was just an absolute blizzard. Just a foot of snow just kind of poured on Philadelphia that day. The game was being played at Shide Park and just a, just horrible field conditions. And the score ended up being a final score of 7-0 to zero with Van Buren scoring a touchdown, the only touchdown in the game in the fourth quarter. Then in 1949, you had the Eagles playing the Rams. And once again, not good field, uh, field conditions. This time it wasn't snow, but it was rain as it was just pouring down rain and, and made the field just absolutely muddy. But uh, the Eagles just continued to feed Van Buren the ball and, and he rushed for what was then a, a championship game record of 191 yards in that game. So again, he was really instrumental there. And uh, in 1950, he kind of injury started slowing him down a little bit and uh, just kind of started having more and more injuries. And in 1952, he tore a ligament in his knee. And then ultimately, he ended up kind of retiring because of that. And if you look at the back here, it's really kind of interesting. As it, If you look down towards the bottom there, it says, called greatest football player in America. So at the time, he was considered the best football player by at least some people and uh, he was considered the best and also on the back you may have noticed and if not he um, when he retired he retired as the league's leading rusher in yards and the leading rusher for touchdowns so again just a, a fantastic player he is on the NFL all decades 1940s team and just a beautiful card of a, of a great player from the 1940s that, that I really love having in my collection. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you next time.